हेलो लर्नर्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल श्रद्धा फिजिक्स सो हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग एसएसबी फिजिक्स क्वेश्चन दैट इज ऑफ द ईयर 2021 इन दिस पार्ट वी विल सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन दैट इज हियर वी विल सी द डिटेल सोल्यूशन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ आवर क्वेश्चन दैट इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ ए सेकेंड रैक टेन्सर सिग्मा आई जे सो हियर दिस इज सिग्मा आई जे for i equal to 1 2 3 are given as sigma ij equal to psi delta ij plus c do j vi plus do i vj okay so this is your sigma ij is given for c is a constant and psi is a scalar field and vi That is uh, for i equal to one to three, they are the components of the divergence free vector field V. Okay, so you have to calculate basically delta j sigma i j. So here the delta, sorry, here the sigma i j is given. So simply you have to take the derivative that is delta j sigma i j. With respect to j, you have to differentiate. So this is equal to. So let me write this is do j of this total term that is psi. delta i j plus c do j v i plus do i v j this is your sigma i j now if i will take the derivative with respect to j for the first term here you can see this is your delta i j and you know the delta i j value will be equal to 1 when i equal to z and its value equal to 0 when i is not equal to z okay so here if i will take delta i j that is uh, i equal to z and this term will becomes now you can write this is equal to simply do i into psi since delta i j equal to 1 that is i equal to z if i will take so this j term goes to now i now for the second term if i will take the derivative then this will be equal to so here i will write plus C is the constant, so taken outside. So C delta j. Here is the delta j. Again, here is the delta j. So let me rub this one. So this will becomes delta j into delta j v i. And here, if we we'll take the derivative for the delta i v j, so this is your delta j with respect to j. We have to differentiate, but here this is delta i. so that term goes to zero okay so this term goes to zero or simply our answer is this much so here our answer will be this one that is delta i psi plus c delta j into delta j vi okay so in this way you can solve this question now let us see the next question the next question is if pn of x is the legendary polynomial of degree n then d by dx of pn of x at x equal to 1 is equal to so this is somehow we can call it tricky question so let us see how to solve this you know the legendary differential equation is 1 minus x square full into this is pn double prime of x because uh, if i will write here y of x so i have to write y double prime x because uh, pn of x is the legendary polynomial that is a solution of the legendary equation so i can directly write in place of y i can write p okay so 1 minus x square pn double prime of x minus 2x pn prime of x plus n into n plus 1 <clears throat> n into n plus 1 pn of x equal to 0 so now this is our legendary equation Here the question is d by dx of p n of x at x equal to one you have to calculate. Okay, now if I will put x equal to one, so this equation becomes if I will put x equal to one, then one minus x square means one minus one square will be zero. So the remaining term will be for x equal to one, this will be minus two x. The first term goes to zero because one minus one is zero. So the second term will be minus two into one. that is in place of x so this is minus 2 pn prime of x plus n into n plus 1 pn of x equal to 0 okay so you have to calculate pn prime of x 
that is at x equal to 1 so i can write directly at x equal to 1 here and also this is pn of 1 okay or this can be written as or 2 pn prime of 1 that is equal to n into n plus 1 into pn of 1 i can write like this because taking one term to the right hand side i will get this or this can be written as pn prime of 1 equal to this is n into n plus 1 by 2 because you know pn of 1 equal to 1 so here since pn of 1 equal to 1 that is the legendary polynomial at x equal to 1 so here this one is our answer that is pn prime of 1 means this is nothing but d by dx of pn of x at x equal to 1 so you can directly write this is your n into n plus 1 by 2 so this is our correct answer n into n plus 1 by 2 now let us see the next question if h n x is the hormite polynomial of order n then which of the following relation is correct so here the question is from the hormite and the legendary polynomial you can see so from this relation you can see h n of x mod this will be less or equal to h n of phi x okay this one is the direct question you can remember now let us see the next question the value of the integral that is i equal to minus a square plus y square dx dy integration so you have to calculate this integral so here the question is let me write i equal to integration over this is minus integration over x square plus y square into dx dy so here the interval is not given basically so to solve this equation if i will consider so since here the limit is not given so let us consider suppose if i will take the unit circle that is r varies from 0 to 1 i can take or i can consider the theta that is uh, for the unit circle you know the angle so this total angle is your 2 pi so i can consider this theta to be vary from 0 to 2 pi now let us take so if i will take uh, i equal to this much or i can write x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta that is in the polar coordinate system this is uh, x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta and also you know dx dy can be written as r d r d theta this is the polar representation for the surface so this can be written as this is equal to minus in place of a square plus y square i can write this is r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta so taking r square common this will be cos square theta plus sin square theta 1 so this will be integration over a square plus y square is your r square and here in place of dx dy i will write r g r d theta okay and here one is for integration r and next is for the theta we have to integrate now for solving this one i will get this is minus r square into r that will be r cube d r integration and theta this is your d theta integration and that is equal to minus r cube dr will be r power 4 by 4 into this is r varies from here 0 to 1 if i will consider the limit and the theta varies from 0 to 2 pi now if i substitute all these values here so that will be equal to minus r power 4 means 1 power 4 by 4 that is 1 by 4 into if i will put the theta value to be 2 pi then this will be 2 pi into this much okay and by cancelling this term i will get minus pi by 2 so in this way you can solve but here in the answer key the answer will be pi by 4 is given in your answer key but uh, still you will check or if you find any result of this you can comment me in my comment section okay so here i have just uh, considered the integral that is r from 0 to 1 and theta to be varies from 0 to 2 pi so let it be so now let us see the next question that is question number 10 a 2 pi periodic function f of x on the interval minus pi to pi it is defined as f of x equal to 0 if x lies between minus pi to 0 and the value of f of x equal to 1 if x lies between 0 to pi if the function f of x so if the function f of x is expanded in the Fourier series 
given by f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus some a n cos n x plus some b n sin n x then which of the following statement is true so that is here you have to calculate the coefficient of the Fourier a naught a n and b n so in this part you can see here the periodic function it varies from minus pi to pi and let us take uh, the coefficient let me write it here so you know the coefficient of a naught so that is equal to a naught equal to 1 by pi integration over f of x dx and here the limit varies from minus pi to plus pi but here the function is given within the interval minus pi to 0 and 0 to pi now if i will write or if i will split this integration so this can be written as equal to 1 by pi integration over minus pi to 0 f of x dx plus integration from 0 to pi f of x dx okay so here let us first just a minute you can see here in this question the function equal to this much that is within this interval minus pi to 0 the function goes to 0 so here in this part when the function if I consider within the limit minus pi to 0 the function goes to 0 so this term goes to 0 and when it lies between 0 to pi the function value is equal to 1 now if I will put this value that is here the function value equal to 1 now we can calculate this so this is equal to 1 by pi in place of f of x I will write this value equal to 1 so 1 into dx integration that will give you x over the limit 0 to pi so if I will substitute this value of x that is for the upper limit that is pi minus for the lower limit 0 so that will be pi by pi that is equal to 1 ok so here the a naught value equal to 1 now you will just check whether from the option you can see here all the options are 1 so no need to calculate actually 1 or sorry you no need to calculate a 0 value and a n value also because the all in all the option you can see the same result that is 1 0 1 0 1 0 so basically you have to just calculate v n so but here since I am discussing the total question because it may be in your any question that is uh, when the options are not same so for that I am calculating here but simply in the question just use your smart technique so here let me calculate a n that is equal to 1 by pi integration over minus pi to plus pi f of x cos nx dx cos nx dx now again here if I will split this integration that is from minus pi to 0 and plus 0 to pi but here since this function of x in the limit minus pi to 0 it goes to 0 so here I will directly write that is equal to 1 by pi integration from 0 to pi so here the f of x value is 1 so directly I will write cos nx ds I think you can solve this and here the integration of cos nx is your mine sorry this is 1 by pi is taken here and here cos nx value is your sin nx divided by n and here the limit from 0 to pi ok so after solving this you can see this is 1 by pi and n is taken here 1 by n pi sin n pi and this one is minus sin 0 so this value goes to 0 and that is as a whole this equal to 0 ok and now I will calculate for b n so b n equal to 1 by pi integration from 0 to pi f of x sin nx this is minus pi to pi let me write first f of x sin nx dx and that is equal to 1 by pi now here also if I will split this integration that is from minus pi to plus pi to minus pi to 0 and another for you 0 to pi and here this minus pi to 0 in this interval this function goes to 0 so only for 0 to pi integration I will consider here so here I will write integration from 0 to pi and function value goes to 1 so this will be sin nx into dx and for sin nx dx integration you know that is minus cos nx divided by n and here it varies from 0 to pi 
taking minus 1 by n pi minus 1 by n pi common this will be cos n pi minus cos 0 cos n pi value you know this is minus 1 by n pi is written here cos n pi value you know minus 1 power n and this is minus cos 0 is your 1 if I multiply this minus sign in this bracket so this is equal to 1 by n pi and here this will be 1 minus minus 1 power n so this is our answer so you can check from the option here so here in this expression you can see the bn value equal to let me draw okay you can see here now the bn value equal to 1 minus minus 1 power n divided by n pi so here this one is our correct answer that is option a a not equal to 1 and a n equal to 0 and b n value equal to this much okay so this is our correct answer but basically in the exam you have to just check from this option those coefficient you don't want you don't need to calculate so don't go for that just try to calculate the b n only so that you can directly get the answer from the option okay so this is all for today in the next part we will see the question from uh, rest of the question we will discuss so this is all for today thank you all